you know I may play. So you have your basic shooter. And you have my basic, I can't play games in front of people. <laughs> Folks, remember the uh, the Turbo Graphics 16? Awesome system, and one of the uh, one of the best games on that system by far is Bonk. Uh, Bonk's Adventures. It got renamed for whatever reason to BC Kid. That's so many games. <laughs> with your head, you can jump, bop them, you get brain damage. <laughs> you can pick up um, various things later on uh, that give you better, better strength and whatnot. So it's a cute game, really fun. And you can pick it up over at the Factor 5 site, which I will show you later on. <coughs> Alright. Now, the Sinclair ZX81. Who has fond memories of the, the ZX81? Wow. Okay. <coughs> SZ instead of SX. So, so it's as, as fun as it sounds. Every key on this keyboard here has um, on the very top of it a basic command on it. So for P, it's print. So if you type the key print or key P after you type in a line number, it'll complete it for you. That's not a feature, that's tokenization at work. Um, each key had about four functions on it. It does. It's it's confusing and, as all and, hell. And, and, and the functions are like the whole word print command. Mm -hmm. And uh, it uh, it was it was interesting trying to figure out what the key was going to do in which situation. Which is why I have one in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should mention that. They have a virtual keyboard on the machine. I forgot to show you that. So, 30. Let's see, draw. Where's draw? This is why live demos are so much fun. I'm having someone draw on here. That doesn't matter. So you run that, there's hello, and there's a dot in the center. That's pretty heady stuff. <laughs> you felt good too, didn't you? You did! I, you know, I was playing around with this stuff, and I, I, like, I got things drawn on the screen. I was like, I haven't had this feeling for a long time. Usually in order to get any stuff on that screen, it takes a lot of libraries in order to do that. This is 
like, you want to draw it, I'll draw. You want to plot, I'll plot. You want to do circles, I'll do circles. Great stuff, great stuff. So let me uh, show you what some people who know what they're doing can do with it. <coughs> Now, what would a modern computer be without Tetris? Not much, I tell you. I dare say. This is the mark of a modern machine. They can play Tetris on there. <laughs> so you press a key in order to play, and there you have Tetris. In black and white, using L's for the. Uh, I'm not going to play a full thing in Tetris. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> you just did. So there's. A, <laughs> and it was embarrassing. Um, so yeah, the Sinclair ZX81. Is, there's emulation for that. Oh, I almost buried the lead to here. And you can play around with its predecessor. The ZX80, which is even more capable, if you can believe it. Not. <laughs> and there you have its lovely blue keyboard. Again, pretty awesome stuff. But as much as this computer sold, the Spectrum over in Europe was an amazing thing. It, first off, it is the best-selling computer over in the UK. And I wish I had a Spectrum to show you, uh, but this is about as close as I, got, I can get at the moment. I know. I'm sorry. That's all right. I got a 2068. Do you really? Yes. That's awesome. I still have it. I'm so jealous. <laughs> and I have cassettes for it too. So this is what would show up on a Sinclair ZX80. Um, this is the, um, I'm sorry, not a ZX80, the ZX Spectrum 48K model. Well, it gets better. So I'm just going to do a quick hello. It has lower case out of, out of the gate, which is a plus because the ZX80 did not. Or ZX81 did not. Later models, which you can select here, give you a tape loader. Wow. And 128 basic. 128 basic is amazing. So let's say you're printing along. To, uh, but you wanted, okay, let a equal five. But you don't want that, that numbering. Uh, let's see if I can get that in here. I've done all this kind of well. in renumbering. How cool is that? You can renumber your programs right out of the gate. But and will it renumber the go-to statements? Yeah, exactly. It will? I think it will. I think yeah. it will. <coughs> I didn't put a go-to in here, but okay, and you run, blah, 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 crap, crap. The problem with this Spectrum, though, as much as it, as it is an awesome machine, uh, the interface that you used for the joystick plugged into the back here, and none of the systems, except for maybe a handful, a 
of different models came with joystick ports baked in. So there's an interface called the Kempston, which allowed you to hook up joysticks to it, and then it would act as though you were pressing these keys in turn. And it's, it, this system is just baked with hacks. It is the most hacky system I think I have ever seen. But it's so beautiful. suck at games in real time. Stop the tape, okay. <laughs> you can stop the tape. Uh, let's see. Are there any instructions? No. Start the tape, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's lines when you're yep. starting the tape. Let me show you something else that's really kind of neat. There's a, um, a gentleman that created a 8-bit Bach. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to turn off all the fast loading because these are these are actually emulating tape cassettes. And one thing about tape cassettes is they are slow. They are extremely slow, as you can attest to. They are very slow. So I'm going to turn off all of the uh, trapping that it has. Now, while it's sitting there loading all this stuff, I'm going to go on to the next emulator. Because I had the luxury of being able to do that. <laughs> And what's, um, 